Hi, Gamer here. This video is on the basic of PBG. We will learn how to input our prefabs, changing them, trying to matching them to our levels, and try to have this big city, trying to construct a big city. Nah, actually I'm kidding. Just doing two buildings, putting it on the level, and try to learn the basic for PBG. So let's go with it. Hi, before going further, please consider to subscribe, okay? <laughs> this video is to help our friend Detran, who asked how to move the building like that. I mean, I cannot create the width of the building. So, uh, this question actually uh, just initiated this video. So, I used to make all these videos about PBG, but I totally forgot to make a one uh speaking about the basic on how to use pbg on your daily use so um let me go to unreal engine i already prepared the scene to help you use your pbg prefab and i'm using the prefab that comes with pbg so this one i already put it on this level where i have a kind of mesh which uh, uh, makes a system of roads and we're gonna try to make our PBG uh, prefab along the road and try to make bid buildings that matches the shapes that we have on this road. So when you start with PBG, uh, the, the, the simple thing to do is to go uh, directly to move your prefab or your building once you have uh, put it on your level. You can move it by the spline zero like I answered to my our friend Daytran. I hope I'm pronouncing the, the, the now right, okay? Uh, please forgive me if it's not so. So this is it, and we do have our prefab. And you can see that your prefab is uh, composed from mini splines. Each spline comes with a number, and the first one that you have once you put your prefab on the level is the, the two splines, which are the spline zero, like you see right now. Let me this is it you can see the number here zero you can see three right there uh, it's zero then you have the spline one this is it one then you go two then you go two three this is very important to have grasped this notion but this will be for another video uh today we're gonna help our friend on how to move the building and how to grasp the basics of pbg and of course this will be for all of you great to move the building you just have to make select your prefab on your outliner then do a double click right on the actor then just start to move in it and you can see that i am moving the building around in the level see moving it okay just use the gizmo and try to put it on this shape so you can see i already put it where i wanted then I'll try to match the shape I'm having on the road. And it will be a good exercise on how to move our building. See, right. And this is it. So I always use the top view because it's fairly easy to um, just make the shape of your building matching the shape of the road. This is my way of doing it but you're not obliged you can already you can just move directly the spline on your level you can see that i'm doing it right now to match the road you can do it straightforward and you can have the results directly in your level just moving the axis this is the way to move our building so if I want to change the width of the building, just move the spline. This is it. It's as, as simply as that. And you can see that I'm matching my building. See? And you can see the building is moving along. Uh, this, is, this is a great case where you can have for example, this shape when it's not a complete rectangle, but you do have an angle right there. And you want your building to match this one. Uh, you can see that I don't have any, 
I, the way to do it is to add just add another spline because you can't have uh, uh, let's say a pentagon uh, done with uh, a rectangle you just have to add another angle to uh, match your uh, your shape in this case I'm do having I need another point or saying another spline just add another one and the way to do it you just go to this spline or this one and you right click on the spline once you have the gizmo selected just make a right click and you do have this select spline duplicate spline uh, remove spline delete the spline what we are seeking is duplicate so we want we need another spline so we duplicate this one and we do have another one so you can see right now i'm having another one and all i have to do is to move it to go with the shape i'm having just moving it so i this is not my preferred method to do it but just to explain to you that you can have uh your building matching any shape whatever the shape in this case we're gonna try to make the same thing for this triangle shape to do so it will be a good exercise to on how to show uh how to remove some splines from your pbg to match your needs this one so i'm gonna duplicate this preferred Control d or Control w sorry <laughs> Control d is for uh, this is the uh, this is the shortcut for blender uh, for if you are using unreal just do a Control w okay that's it so so this is it so just moving the building along and try to make it match my my road okay so moving it uh, right there right there it would be fine so next thing next step i'm gonna remove some splines just to have my triangle shape so triangle means three three splines so let's remove this one I'm using the this right button but you can use anyone and to make it have the changes just move the building or one of the splines and it will update the new shape and you can see that my building already took a triangular shape the next thing just matching same way uh, I'm going to the top view it would be better and you can see on the top view it will be much much better and much much easier to do the changes see right there take this spline and move it so there it is mm, I think it's okay going back to the view check if it's okay and you can see that we do have our prefab so the next thing is just to correct the angle the angles that we have so you can see that right now this mesh is not it's doing a pretty bad shape for my building so the method i found is just to remove the angle uh, this is the uh, pillar mesh used uh, which is cool which is great for a rectangular one but on this uh, cases when you have an octagon uh, let's say a pentagon or a triangle uh, it will m miss your the shape of your building so you can see it right this one on the pillar and you can see right there we do have these two pillars to do so just go to the properties of your prefab and i already select this one and just look for uh the corner wall mesh you have uh, just one option which is globally add uh corner wall mesh just untick it for the floor system and remember to untick it also for the roof system so remember we have floor system and roof system so you can see that they have this option right here for the roof system and right here for the floor system so remove it for the floor you can see that the prefab is corrected and we no longer have this weird shape 
So great for the floor system. Just checking it. See, it's great. The building seems much better. And but we do have still have the problem for the roof system. And to do so, just go to the roof system and remove the corner wall mesh. And you can see that we have much, much better shape. Doing the same for this one. Same. Remove for the roof system. I start with the roof system. You can start whatever one you want. And remove the same for the wall system. And you can see that we have a much better building. Which are corresponding to our shapes, to our scene. And we have much, much better result. So I think this is it for this video. I hope that I made the most basic ones regarding PBG. So I thank you to watching this video all along. I would thank all the new subscribers. If, if you are not subscribed, already subscribed to the, the channel, please do so. Uh, and it really helps the channel and really uh, encourage me to have more content each week. So thanks again for watching and see you on my next video.